was packed this Thursday night for the annual Miss Gay ISU competition. There were four contestants competing, including three ISU students. The contestants were judged in three categories that ranged from evening dress, a Q&A, and a dance portion. The winners from the previous competitions entertained the audience for most of the evening. The proceeds of the event were donated to the Damien Center, which is an organization that helps fight HIV and AIDS. So this year I chose to do Miss Gay ISU mainly because I've wanted to do it since my freshman year. And this year we're supporting the Damien Center, which is a HIV AIDS testing and outreach program in Indianapolis. And I feel very strongly about HIV prevention, research, and testing. So I thought this would be a great way for me to go out and try drag, but also to help raise money for it by getting my name out there so all my friends can come and donate the money to be to see it. Um, I've been working with my drag for about three weeks now. I'm really new to it all. I've gone to Zamar's only twice before to work on it. Well, three times before to work on it, but I've only performed there twice. Another thing that has really surprised me is how supportive the drag community here in ISU is. I had no makeup whatsoever, and one of my best friends donated me a lot. And then all my outfits I've been using tonight have been donated to me by the drag queens at Zamar's in the Terre Haute area of Igo County. And it is really heartwarming to know that they all look out for each other and help the newcomers and help us grow in from a little princess to a beautiful queen. The first place winner of the competition was Miss Ruby Lockhart, and ISU student Nikki St. Queer was the second place runner-up. For Indiana State University, Scott Wernke reporting.